Welcome to Baseball News Club and our weekly highlights. Let's go ahead and get this disco started. Baseball News Club presents your weekly highlights. I'm going to need you to subscribe, comment, and like the video right now. You always got to appreciate Zach Greinke doing some odd 51 mile per hour pitch, but it was actually outdone by Williams Ostudillo, who threw a 46 mile per hour pitch. And then Shohei continues to crush the ball. As of this post, he's hit the hardest exit velocity ball in MLB at 119 miles per hour. Jacob DeGrom, nine straight strikeout performance. He continues to be the best pitcher in MLB. Joey Votto, crazy triple play. Runner came across home plate, so it was an automatic out, making it a triple play. And I doubt in my lifetime I'll see another triple play like this. Then the Padres, tough loss against the Dodgers on Saturday. Mookie Betts doing what Mookie does best, being a highlight reel. We had a few walk-off games this week. How about Salvador Perez, walk-off 459-foot home run for the Royals. And then you have the Miami Marlins, Jorge Alfaro, walk-off base hit to take down the San Francisco Giants. Big win for the Fish. And then Javier Baez, great arm, great talent, but he airmailed a pitch to first base. And then how about the crazy win for the Chicago White Sox right off the helmet to win against Cleveland. Right off of Grandel's head. And Tyler Glasnow, magical performance, 14 Ks against the Orioles. Chicago White Sox Stadium has stepped it up with flashing lights, making every celebration just seem super bitchin'. Then an NCAA Division I college, Hope Trotman strikes out all batters she faced, all 21, for a perfect game. Then Robert Duvall, 2HR, 7 RBI day. Kyle Schwarber, bottom of the ninth walk-off home run for the Nats. Gadoosh. Then Jazz being jazzy, continuing to slug the ball. Dansby Swanson helping the Braves with a walk-off against the Fish. Big game. And then Ronald Acuna leading Major League Baseball as of this post with 7 home runs. And we also had Jackie Robinson Day on April 15th. And then Carlos Rodon, the Chicago White Sox. Crazy, near-perfect game, no hitter. Here's all three outs. Here's the ground ball to first. Jose Abreu saves it. Crazy sliding play to save the no-hitter. And then the controversy, Roberto Perez. Hit by pitch, so this null and voids the perfect game. Even Rodon's like, really? On your toe? And then look at this. Doesn't even make an effort. Here's the second out. Strike out. He gone. And then his final out. Ground ball to third. We've got ourselves a no-hitter in Chicago. Congratulations, Rodon. And then perhaps for me, one of the funniest moments, Santana hits Mateo, but that's not the funny moment. Bench is clear, no punches thrown, no harm, no foul. But the funniest part is watch the left of the screen, the security guard coming across the field. Doesn't really know what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> and the very next day after Carlos Rodon's no hitter, this happened. A little ruckus at second base, some pushing and shoving. So the very next day after a no hitter, you got a bench clearing situation in Chicago. No punches thrown. Just a lot of feelings hurt, pushing and shoving, pushing and shoving. Perhaps the pitching matchup of the week, Lucas Giolito versus Biebs. This is an absolutely great pitcher's performance. Then Yadier Molina catching his 2,000th game for the St. Louis Cardinals gets a standing ovation by the Cardinal fans. And then the Yankees express their frustrations, having the worst record in the American League coming into this weekend. Frustrations with the strike zone, and you rarely see DJ argue balls and strikes. Then Jesus Aguilar doing the same thing we've done a million times as kids, throwing the glove at the ball, trying to stop it. I feel like this should be legal in MLB. And then Badu just having a great season, crushing the ball. And then the Moose putting one in the drink in San Francisco. Will Myers hitting the ball twice with one swing. We saw this last year with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And then a very controversial play, Philadelphia at Atlanta, tie ball game, missed call at home plate. Tim Locastro's shoes are going to the Hall of Fame for stealing his 20th base in a row. Who else would attend a Toronto game? How about Ryan Reynolds, our Deadpool star? There he is, looking sharp. Then Corey Kluber, the Yankees, gets a bat thrown at him. Doesn't hit him, just slipped out of his hands. Thank you very much for watching Baseball News Club. Have yourself a great day.